feel like we have a, a big problem right now with these Omega guys coming in and taking all of our resources out of the bay. A lot of people don't realize right now is what's going on is how much those menhaden play a part in a, a lot of things, not just our fishery, but our tourism, our bait shops, our boat builders. By the time Omega is done with them in December and they close up shop for the season, there's very little menhaden left. So our, men, our striper just kind of roll through here and they settle in about eight to 15 miles offshore where whatever's menhaden's left, they'll settle in there uh, and, and eat what's left. But Virginia waters, there's nothing left. So our striped bass uh, have nothing left to eat. I can dramatically see the decrease in the menhaden fishery in the bay. Um, Generally, all summer long, we can fish the menhaden pods and catch cobias off of them. And in winter time, the striped bass fishing used to be at its bloom. You can just see within just a week's time of how much has changed since they've showed up into the bay. Localized depletion is happening. Uh, I'm concerned about the menhaden levels in the uh, Chesapeake Bay, as well as the life of the uh, all the fish that we we like to recreational fish and charter fish. Uh, without the charters, it uh, limits my business as a marina owner uh, and also for all the bait and tackle shops in the local vicinity. We need to hold these politicians accountable too. They need to stand up and be our voice when we can. The fish are important to Virginia Beach, they're important to Maryland, they're important to the ocean.